Hey, I'm Jocelyn and this is the Eats of North Carolina and we're gonna start with one of my favorite beverages, Cheerwine Soda. It's not something that you can get everywhere in the country, but if you find it, you should definitely try it. It is an original from North Carolina and we actually, I, I know people who like ask me to bring it home with me when I go somewhere. And so I always gladly do that. I get a couple extra bottles or so and bring it back for them. So. When you're here, cheer wine is a definite North Carolina thing you need to try. And while we're talking about soda, I just want to say Pepsi was invented here too. So much of the South, when you order a soda, you actually say, I'll have a Coke, especially when you're in Georgia. And that means, you know, any kind of soda. But in North Carolina, Pepsi is, you know, kind of king. I don't know. It's it, This is where it came from. So check out those two great sodas and always their sweet tea because it's the South. So one other drink we should probably talk about is beer. I swear to you, there's a brewery on every corner, everywhere I go in North Carolina, and you get some really great craft beers all over the place. So don't be afraid to try out some local brews and you know, not just the national things. Go ahead and try out some local stuff. You might find some really amazing things. So barbecue is a staple all over the South and North Carolina is no exception to that. But the barbecue here has this nice vinegary sort of sauce. It's something a little bit different. You know, most of the places you go and you have it, it's like tomato based. And South Carolina's got a mustard base, but North Carolina is definitely a vinegar based sort of thing. And for as many people make it, it's a different sort of something. So go ahead and try that barbecue. And also barbecue with hush puppies and coleslaw is a definite thing. Those three things together, barbecue, hush puppies, coleslaw, try them all together. Something interesting that you can find in North Carolina is called chow chow. Chow chow is, um, it's kind of a mix. It's like, I want to call it a coleslaw. It's definitely not a coleslaw. It's just a bunch of stuff all mixed up together. Like you'll have green tomatoes, um, you'll have some cabbage, there'll be onion and all this stuff is chopped up and oh, it's all put together and it's just really yummy and tasty. And so you should definitely try chow chow. So some people around here like to put chow chow on top of their hot dogs. And that leads me to the Carolina hot dog, which is something you really definitely want to try when you're here. It's a hot dog and it's got a, several unusual toppings to many people. There's onions, there's coleslaw, there's chili, and sometimes there's mustard on top. It sounds like a weird grouping of food, right? But it's actually pretty tasty. And the things are, you know, you've got that, that sweet tangy of the slaw. And then of course you've got the meat and the heat of the chili and those onions just give it some bite. It's, it's interesting. And you should definitely try one when you're here. If you're in coastal North Carolina, one of the things you'll find that um, you don't necessarily get everywhere is a soft shell crab. Soft shell crabs are blue crabs that ha are in their molting state. So the crab is no longer hard on the outside, it's soft shell. And then they fry it and you eat the entire thing. You don't try to po pop it open and just eat the meat inside. You eat the entire thing. It's a different sort of thing. I, I personally really like them, but I know a lot of people just kind of can't get past the texture of that soft shell. It's just different and you should try it if you're brave. Along with the crab theme, we'll talk a little bit about she crab soup. She crab soup is something you'll find throughout the south coast of the United States. But North Carolina is is like many places, they, they do great she crab soup. It's a bisque, it's definitely creamy and rich and thick and can be really hearty. But the difference between just crab bisque and a she crab soup is that in she crab soup you've got the roe. So the eggs, if you will. So not only is it the meat, but you've got the eggs. And then usually they drizzle like a little bit of dry sherry over the top and it is tasty no matter where you get it. So my favorite thing from North Carolina is Krispy Kreme. When that hot now sign is on, I thank the North Carolina gods that made it because they're my favorite donuts. I don't even love donuts. Like I'm not a donut person, but hot Krispy Kremes, get in my belly like so good right and while we're talking about donuts we can't really talk about North Carolina and donuts and not talk about duck donuts duck donuts are originally from the Outer Banks but they've kind of grown and, and you might find them outside the Outer Banks but if you go it's an experience it's kind of industrial where you get to see them make them on a conveyor belt type of thingy I don't I mean it's it's just it's it's a different experience than you know just going and going I want that donut and that donut and that donut and they've got really interesting flavors and all sorts of toppings and stuff so definitely if you get a chance check out duck donuts 
So two fast food places that are original to North Carolina are Bojangles and Cookout. Cookout is like barbecue and things like that. Bojangles has the best dang biscuits you can get outside Mama's Kitchen. I swear to you, I've never had a bad biscuit from Bojangles. Both are, you know, kind of like fast food, whatever, but I just thought you should know that those are two places to stop as you're driving through North Carolina. So in our house, we're kind of hot sauce fanatics. We've probably got 30 different hot sauces from all over the world, but our old standby is Texas Pete. Guess what? Texas Pete is not from Texas, it's from North Carolina. I have no idea how that happened, I don't really care because that is my go-to hot sauce when I'm not thinking about, you know, all sorts of different kinds of flavors and I just want a solid one. Texas Pete is mine, that's my favorite, you know, just stand by. Thank you, North Carolina, I appreciate it. So since Caleb was like a little tyke and he first started taking his lunch to school, the one thing that I've kind of always had to include in his lunchbox are pickles, specifically Mount Olive pickles. From where else? North Carolina. That's like another one of those standbys. I'm really grateful to North Carolina for all these standby like things in my diet, you know, pickles and hot sauce and Krispy Kreme and Bojangles. So there's so much great stuff. I hope you explore North Carolina and don't forget to get some of those normal Southernisms, you know, mac and cheese, deviled eggs, net pimento cheese, all that good stuff. You'll find it all over North Carolina, just like you will the rest of the South. So that is it from Highlet Mountain in North Carolina. I hope you all enjoyed this and we'll talk to you later. Bye.